Hi, this is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger here with naturalnews.com. And one of the most common questions I'm asked by people is, what's the difference between natural and organic? Especially when you look at food labels at the grocery store, they see the word natural and they say, well, what does that really mean? Or now there's a lot of talk about organic. You know, Dr. Oz sort of attacked organic not too long ago and they called it the diet of snobs and uh, elitists. And of course, there was a lot of backlash about that. But people are suddenly asking, well, what, what is organic really? What exactly is the difference between organic and non-organic or organic and natural? So to answer those questions, here we go. Natural simply means, well, nothing. Yeah, natural is not regulated. It has no legal meaning, no technical meaning. In fact, anybody can say their product is natural regardless of where it comes from or how it's made. In fact, the food manufacturers insist that they can say anything that comes from planet Earth is natural. So they could say that like mercury cookies would be natural because they mine the mercury out of the Earth and the Earth is natural and therefore mercury cookies are natural. So they can say anything is natural natural, even some highly processed refined food laced with toxic artificial sweeteners, synthetic chemicals, GMOs. The, uh, the biotech industry wants to say that GMOs are natural. And, and I'm not making that up, by the way, most, well, <laughs> hey, nearly all of the snack chips that claim to be all natural are genetically modified, made with GM corn. So there you go. Uh, again, I'm not making this up. It sounds, it sounds crazy to some people, but it's real. So natural means nothing in terms of regulatory meaning. Uh, anybody can say natural. Now let's go to organic because the organic does mean something. And I'm on the record, in fact, saying that the USDA organic symbol is probably one of the best programs to come out of the federal government. The USDA organic actually means something. It's, it's a legitimate symbol. It's that green circular symbol that says USDA. And it means that that food has been, well, the food production facility or the farm has been audited by the USDA, has been inspected. And if you're a grower, it means that you are growing your food with a certain process that eliminates the use of synthetic chemicals. For example, you can't use synthetic fertilizers, you can't use synthetic chemical pesticides or herbicides, and you can't grow GMOs. But at the same time, you can use certain natural approved pesticides that are based on, on plants. For example, neem oil, I believe, is approved for use under organic. Uh, I'm not an organic certified farmer, so I don't know all of what's approved or not approved, but I but I do know that if I have a choice, I'm going to choose organic certified food because it doesn't have the synthetic chemical pesticides. So the organic label, the organic word on a label is both highly, highly regulated and it also means something very real. It means that they've passed a test, they've been audited. Uh, in fact, it's quite an extensive amount of documentation and compliance that goes into being certified organic. And if you're certified organic, it also means you have to track all of your batches of production. Or if you're a food packer, you have to track how the food, uh, where, where it comes from, where you bought it from, and where it goes. And then at the end of the year, you're audited. And that has to all match up so that if you sell, let's say, 10,000 bags of organic whatever, organic you know, corn, then you must have purchased 10,000 bags equivalent of organic corn. Otherwise, you're going to have your organic certification yanked because, you know, <laughs> uh, you might be committing fraud if the numbers don't match up. So that is audited and checked. It's very stringently controlled. And you will see some people out there, by the way, some particularly online sellers, sometimes selling on Amazon or eBay, that will claim to sell organic products, but they don't have organic certification. And so, therefore, they haven't been audited, they haven't been doing the batch tracking, and so on and so forth. So, if you're buying organic, make sure you look for that product being certified by an organic certifier. Uh, typically, you'll see 
a package, if you look on the back, if it says organic and it has the USDA symbol on it, on the back it'll say something like certified by organ tilth, for example, or QAI, or any number of other certifiers that are given that authority by the USDA. And by the way, those certifiers are themselves audited by the USDA on an annual basis to make sure that they are in compliance with the USDA. So if you have a chance to buy organic over non-organic, always choose organic because it's going to be cleaner, it's going to lack the, the synthetic chemicals and pesticides, and of course it cannot be genetically modified. That's the best part about it. So in summary, organic certifies a process. Now interestingly, organic does not certify a particular outcome, and it doesn't test for things like um, heavy metals in a product. That's done separately by you know, independent lab tests. But organic food tends to be cleaner, more nutritionally dense, and also, very importantly, easier on the environment. So if you're buying organic, you're not just giving yourself better food, more nutrients, you're also taking care of the soils indirectly because you're not supporting an agricultural process that dumps chemicals into the soil. And of course, when chemicals are dumped into the soil, they are inevitably dumped into the streams and rivers and oceans at the same time. So buying organic also means protecting the planet. Now some people that try to attack organics, and uh, Dr. Oz is guilty of this, try to say, well organic is no different than regular, and they try to cite some, you know, biased study somewhere, some university that's been paid off by Monsanto usually, and they try to say, well it's the same. Even if that were true, and it isn't, but even if that were true, that it's the same nutritionally, it's definitely not the same in terms of how it's produced and the, the functions of the farm, you know, the chemicals sprayed on the soil and so on. So again, the, the, the reasons to buy organic are many and beware of buying natural. So one of the big things, the big confusing points on this uh, most people are confused thinking that the word natural means a product is non-GMO. And that is absolutely not the case. Most so-called, quote, natural products are genetically modified. So get that straight and uh, spread the word on that so that others understand that as well. If you want to avoid GMOs, you have to buy organic. So that is the main difference between organic and natural. And personally, I try very hard to avoid anything that is not certified USDA organic. And that's true in my own personal life, in my diet. It's not perfect in that regard, but that's what I strive for. But it's also true in our own store, the Natural News store, where we strive to, to make everything certified organic. Again, it's not perfect. There are some non-organic items in there. And there are some items that you often can't get organic because they're only grown in a wildcrafted manner, you know, harvested, for example, in the rainforest. Um, camu camu berries are a good example. You can't normally get those organic, but you can get them wildcrafted, which in a sense is better than organic, although it doesn't have all the auditing and documentation to go with it. Um, sometimes acai berries are in the same boat. It's better to get wildcrafted acai than organic if you trust the source. So there's a lot of things to consider along these lines, but the bottom line is at the Natural News Store, we strive to source everything organic and not just like randomly vaguely organic, but USDA certified organic where you look at the label and it says certified by X, whoever that certifier happens to be. And that's not just something that we make up and put on the label. You can actually call that certifier and you can ask them for... Uh, to confirm that is this food, is this label actually certified by you? And they can check it and they can confirm. And so that's an independent uh, verification that tells you that that food was produced with a process that's highly uh, audited, highly uh, regulated, and uh, is very tightly controlled to avoid the use of synthetic chemicals. So that's what I recommend. And as you know, I'm a longtime supporter of the Organic Consumers Association. Uh, headed by Ronnie Cummins, a big supporter of uh, just organic farming, organic agriculture, and choosing organic foods with your dollars, voting with your dollars to support the organics industry and avoid 
supporting Monsanto and, and the destructive biotech industry and toxic chemical pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, and so on. So there you go. That's the difference between natural and organic. This is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger with naturalnews.com.